Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So this video is going to be a little out of the ordinary, of course, as I as I typically focus on Toyota. But the Nissan GTR R35 has a special place in my heart, as you guys, many of you guys know. I, I owned one of these, a 2014 Track Edition or Track Pack, uh, a few years ago. So sometimes I regret selling, but other times I'm like, you know what? It is a two-seater, the Track Edition Track Pack only having two seats with a rear seat delete. Uh, so that was kind of a driving factor of me selling it, similar to the GT350 R. You know, they're the sweet, awesome, best versions of it, but not family friendly at all. So kind of a forced me to realize, you know, having a, a car like this is great, but it's, it's only as good as, you know, if you're actually able to enjoy it with the, the people you love most, you know? And, and as cliche as it is to say, it's definitely the truth, right? I can drive to and from work all day long, Maybe with a friend or two, or, or if we get a babysitter, my wife and I can head out together. But that's just, that's not ideal. So I ended up selling it. Uh, obviously with this one, it is done up quite a bit. Wide body fender flares on it, wide body kit. Front and rear, of course. It does look sleek, got bright seats. Definitely love them. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Even, admittedly though, I mean, I love the, the R35. It's definitely faster than the Shelby that I had, but the, the Shelby was a little bit more of a visceral feeling, more of a raw feeling vehicle. So I would pick the 350R between that and the, and the, and the GTR there. So I'm going to walk you through these rigs over here. Got some Ferraris, a even cooler R35 GTR over there. A couple McLaren C8s, uh, C8 Corvettes. Pretty nice Supra too, with the wide body on it. Uh, you don't see that every day, so I'll share that with you. We'll walk through, rip through these real quick. Another more stock GTR right here. In 2015, if I recall correctly, 2015 is when they incorporated that unique headlight design. Uh, so mine did not have this part in it, as mine was a 2014. So let's look at these. Really, I could walk any direction here. We'll see sweet cars. But let's focus on the McLaren. It'd be a party foul to look at a Corvette before a McLaren. Look at that. I love that infotainment, that center stack there is beautiful. Love that color. I wonder what it's called. <laughs> Look at this. It's just insane. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Here's the Corvette. We'll show you this. Definitely a sweet design. I know people are pretty indifferent on it being a mid-engine versus uh, the traditional front engine, of course, that Corvettes have been throughout history. Personally, I think the uh, Z06 C7 looks better, but that's just my my opinion on it. The CA is definitely much more futuristic and definitely more exotic looking, which is a no-brainer looking at this front end. All right, let's move down the road. We'll look at a Viper. It was what, 1993, 95? Okay, see there. Should have the big, big, big V10 in it, if I recall. Never really looked into these too, too much. Good enough to guzzle, <laughs> guzzle gas, what, eight miles per gallon? <laughs> but definitely a sweet ride. Whenever I see this, let me know if, any, if there's any other goofy ducks out there like me, but whenever I see this particular generation Viper, um, first gen Viper, I always think of um, Vegas Vacation. If you guys remember that movie with Chevy Chase, when they win, uh, when Russ wins all the, the jackpots on the slot machines and he wins this, I always think of that movie. Look at the simplicity of the interior. It is bare bones and a sea of plastic show these carbon ceramics here on the McLaren. Sorry, lots of squirrel moments here. It's a beautiful color. 
Look at, we'll look at the interior while they're up front. That's pretty sweet. Let me know what you guys think about the, the new C8. I'd be curious if you guys like it better than the, the C7. This is that wide body Supra here. <laughs> this is just absurd. It's pretty sweet though, I, I love it. My inner boy racer Fast and Furious fan geeks out over this. Got the BMW interior here. Ah, sure, if you like, yeah. Thank you. Nice, okay, it looks yep. beautiful, yeah, um, good work. Three in the world right now. Yeah, nice. It's beautiful, what kind of wheels are these? Nice, okay. I don't, I don't remember. Ah, no worries, yeah. Looks like uh, reserve. Pretty deep dish there, that's awesome. Thank you, sir, appreciate it. Check out the front end. So you heard them there, only three in the world right now for the Rocket Bunny wide body kit. I remember when the Rocket Bunny kits were being uh, unveiled for the FRS and BRZ. I remember thinking that those were just so insane looking, especially being a younger cat when they came out, I was all about it. So. The front end of that. So, uh, it looks like the same blue, but different interior on this one. We got a tan interior. This one is stock. I tell you what, that does not look like a bad spot to be sitting all day. That is beautiful. Check this out. Even the, hopefully you can see it. I know I don't got the best camera for you guys, but even the 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 stripes have a really cool flake to it. Pretty nice black silver flake to it. Let's get to. Excuse me. Get to the real star of the show here. R35. Look at this. I love this color. Holy cow. It has nothing on Voodoo Blue, though. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's definitely sweet. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Look at these HRE wheels. It's probably cost a cost a good penny. And they open it up for me. All right, got some bride seats. That sea foam green roll cage, pretty awesome. Yeah, I wonder who signed that. Perhaps a toddler. <laughs> Trying to step on the thing. <clears throat> it's the front end of this guy here. Yeah, sorry guys, not much direction for my video here. I'm just kind of waddling around looking at these beautiful rigs. Look at that, I didn't notice that until now, but you got a green flake within the carbon fiber here. That's pretty sweet. That's pretty awesome. Even up here, that, that green flake. That's awesome. All right, let's go over here. So we'll wrap up with a few of these. Uh, that's gonna be the best lineup. So I think it might be best just to wrap up the video there. But as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Until next time.